I mean, growing up, I was not interested in farming, which is funny that now I am obsessed with it and do it every day. I think that one of the first things I grew that I was really excited about, I started helping out at an apple orchard, and I love apples, and so growing an apple and picking one straight from the tree is one of the best feelings. It's, it's uh, strange to eat a hot apple. <laughs> it's the, as crispy as can be. <laughs> <laughs> beings sustain themselves on planet Earth. At the rate we're going, we're not going to make it really. We've collectively really forgotten about this big opportunity and it was all about the soil. As we look to future ways of growing food, we think regenerative agriculture is the way to do it. Humans can actually help to rebuild soil, work with nature to rebuild soil faster than we ever thought possible. And what this meant was why Kiss the Ground was created. We're at Avenue 33. Uh, this is an urban farm. The people who are running this urban farm took our farmland program training. And though this is definitely a smaller scale than what we're usually uh, having enter our farmer training program, it doesn't matter. With regenerative agriculture, with agriculture that's helping to regenerate land, you can be on 100,000 acres or 5,000 acres or less than an acre and still be having an impact while you are creating food source. We're in kind of the center of Los Angeles, just a few miles from downtown. Mostly beyond these hills, it's a lot of city living. We have a weekly vegetable box subscription, so people can get vegetables weekly from us. And that will be a range from eight to 10 items that are all fresh that day, like lettuce and carrots and radish and turnips and things that are good in salads and, and fresh and raw. And then also the seasonal items like broccoli or in the summer we have eggplant and peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers. And so everything you'd want to eat raw and fresh. We grow flowers and they're all seasonal and they last a very long time. That's one of the more exciting things about growing flowers locally. Regenerative farming is in some ways the oldest form of farming in that like most ancient traditions all established these really healthy practices in the way that they would farm and the way that they would manage their land. In the 1900s and 1930s to the 1950s, like heavy machinery and pesticide use was the way that we were able to expand our food system and farming and decrease the amount of people that farm and increase the amount of acreage that each farmer is managing. And so those practices that we're using in regenerative kind of fell away to something that's a slightly more efficient. But as we see it, regenerative agriculture is the way to move growing plants and food forward. There are cultures around the world that have lived in a place and worked in their cultural mindset to be stewards of the earth, helping nature as a part of their identity, a part of what they do. The food that's grown is all really dependent on the soil and the soil biology and the soil chemistry. Focusing on soil health can create a system that takes carbon from the air and stores it underground in the form of plant roots. Our practices are all no-till, so we're trying to create biological systems underground that will help improve the soil. As we improve the soil and work on balancing the structures, we create a biologically balanced system. It'll also retain more water and be more uh, easier to work with and essentially be richer soil so that as we grow produce and stuff it's rich with a lot of like available minerals and nutrients that are not only better for the soil but better for our health too. I guess I hope 10 or 15 years from now that regenerative farming is kind of the main way that people are farming and they understand it can be a great way to farm in that it's healthy for the soil and it takes less amendment and as you get the soil to be more productive and sustainable it 
can be cheaper and provide more nutrient-dense food. So I think my hope in 10 to 15 years is that regenerative agriculture is the norm and people are understanding the benefits and importance of soil health, not only for our personal health and community health, but also for the health of generations in the future. I guess they always say that we're not inheriting land, we're borrowing it from the future, we're borrowing it from future generations, and so anything that we can do that helps establish more healthy practices to make the future a bit brighter.